Hi family, welcome back to the channel. This is Prophetess Nikki here. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for tuning back in today. I am so excited about what God is going to do in your life today through this word. I want to give thanks to you for tuning in, liking, sharing, and subscribing our videos. Thank all of you for everything that you do consistently to bring glory to God's channel here. All of your prayers, your acts of kindness. I love all of you so much. I am praying for you on a daily basis, people of God. I love you. God bless you. Now, if you're tuned in to the channel and you are not yet subscribed, why don't you hit the red button to become part of our family here? And don't forget, go ahead and tap that notification bell. I pray that God's face will always shine upon each and every one of you. May the Lord continue to bless you. May he prosper for you and may he keep you in every area of your life. I want you all to get this in your spirit today, family. This is going to be a sensitive subject today. I want you to know that you're going to have to confront the issues of your heart. Confront the matters of your heart. Your family secrets is what God wants to deal with. The family secrets and the family sin that God is going to expose the things that you were told to be quiet about, the things that you were told to hush about. Confront the issues of the heart because those family secrets and the family sin is going to be exposed. These people were more concerned about the name of the family. They were more concerned about the family's reputation than your own well-being, than your own healing. But it is time because God is raising you up for such a time as this. And going forward as leaders in whatever capacity that God has called you to lead, we can't lead while we bleed, people of God. Because when you try to lead and bleed and hemorrhage, my gosh, you may hear the wrong voice. Your spirit has to be clear. We have to make sure that pain is not leading us. We have to make sure that our trials and our tribulations are not leading us. The Holy Spirit has to be our leader, our guide, and it has to be our comforter. Confront the family issues of the heart. The matters of your heart, confront these issues because God is raising you up for such a time as this and it can't continue having a hold over you going forward. This is why God is going to expose the sin in the families. God is going to expose the secrets in the families. Not to harm, but he's doing this so that he can transform your life because you cannot continue allowing the enemy to have a foothold over you. And I want you to know that it's okay to admit that you're not okay. It's okay to cry. It's okay to show emotions, family. Jesus showed emotions and showing emotions takes a lot of vulnerability, which is a sign of pure strength. It is not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of strength. And certain things that you've been suppressed, certain things that you have suppressed is going to come up because God is calling you to confront it. I must say that again. There are certain things in your life that you have suppressed, but it's going to come up. Because God is requiring you to deal with it. It's going to come up. It's going to resurface itself, family. Because God is calling you out to call you in. God is calling you to confront these family issues that has been on your heart for a long time. So you can conquer it. And then you can help somebody else slay their own demons. God doesn't want us putting a band-aid on these symptoms. Sometimes we put a band-aid. Where we need to confront the real condition. God wants you to put not put a band-aid on your symptom. Because it's not fixing the real problem. It's time to dig deep. In those places where it may hurt. It is time to dig deep. 
And it is time, family, to deal with the conditions of your heart. Stand silent no more. Stand silent and protecting the reputation of the family was a priority over your healing in these toxic family cycles and circles that some of you have endured. Some of these family members, my gosh, the priority for them was the reputation of the family over your own healing. This has caused more harm than good for some of you. Suppressing the pain and trauma is never a good thing when we do this. It is never a good thing, family of God. When you suppress pain, when you suppress trauma, it is never a good thing for us to do that. And the reason why it's not good and healthy for us to do this is because all kind of issues that will bleed over in our today if we do not deal with these issues. So go back to the place where you were first disappointed. You go back to that place where that little boy, that little girl was left forsaken and dropped. You go back to that place and you confront the issues of the heart, people of God. Because you cannot continue allowing the enemy to have a hold over your life and the family issues that you have gone with. You were told to be quiet. You were, you were encouraged to remain silent. And this has caused you more harm than good. They left you. They dropped you. So don't make the people who love you today. You have to heal. You have to heal. And don't make the people who love you right now. Yes, those people who truly, truly, genuinely love you today. Pay for what was done against you yesterday, people of God. Love will never violate your innocence. You never forget that. Love will never violate your innocence, nor will real love point the finger to blame you for what you had to endure at the hands of somebody that should have protected you and kept you safe, but they didn't. This is not what God had in mind when he desired what family should be. These people only cared about what would bring shame to the family's name instead of your own healing. They weren't concerned with your healing, with their sanity, with your emotional state. They were only concerned with the name and the reputation of the family. Confront the issues of the heart. Confront the matters of your heart because you cannot continue allowing these things in your childhood to bleed over into your today, your tomorrow, and your future. This is why God is going to expose the sin in families, in generational families. He's going to expose the family secrets so that you can heal. This is why so many people have a hard time relating to genuineness in others and not knowing how to have healthy relationships. They don't know how. Because in the world that they come from, it doesn't exist. Confront the matters of your heart, family, and conquer it. And how do you conquer it? You are going to, con you are going to conquer these things in forgiveness. You're in the family of God now. You are in the family of God. You are in the family of the Most High God where you have true love. You have the true love of the Father. You have deliverance. You have protection. My gosh. You have the true love of the Father. He's your deliverer. He's your comforter. And he is your healer, people of God. They told you to hush. They will encourage you to remain silent, people of God. But remaining silent and keeping all of those things that you were violated from is causing you more harm than good. Confront it. Conquer it. You've identified the issues. Now you confront it. And you conquer it. You got to identify the problem. And you confront it head on. God is with you. And you conquer it. You're going to overcome these things with the help of God. And in forgiveness, God is exposing family secrets and he's exposing the sin in the family. And he's going to do it not to hurt you. He's going to reposition you because you have been called in this hour 
to be raised up for such a time as this. And you cannot continue allowing the enemy to have a foothold on your neck. You cannot continue allowing the enemy to have hold over you, people of God. The enemy came to steal, to kill, and to destroy everything in your life. He wants you to hold on and harbor the pain that was caused in your childhood. Some of you never spoke to anybody about it. You talk to God. Open confession is good for the soul. We go through so many inner traumas, family, when we hold things on the inside. This is what causes and break down the physical body, not just the spiritual part of us, not just the emotional part of us, but also your physical part of you. Confront these issues of the heart. These matters of your heart, you confront them. It's okay to admit that you're not okay. It is. It's okay to cry. You are strong when you can show your vulnerability. Jesus wept. He cried. He showed emotions. I love you. You are in the family of God now. Where you have the true love, protection, deliverance, comfort, and healing of Father God. Father Yahweh. He is El Elyon, the Most High God. I love all of you so much. Family, remember you call as a leader. God has risen you up for such a time as this. And where he has taken you, where you are going, the capacity that God has called you to lead, you cannot lead and bleed at the same time. You cannot lead and hemorrhage at the same time. Get in a place so God can heal you for real. So that you don't allow the enemy to help you keep sabotaging your own future and your own life. Deal with these issues that has happened to you in your own childhood. In your own toxic family relationships, people of God. These family secrets and the sins of the family. They are going to be exposed so that you can grow. So that you can flourish and be everything that God has created you to be, people of God. I love you. Remember, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. It may form, but it will never, ever prosper. I love all of you so much. Thank you for all that you do consistently to bring glory to God's channel here. Please be warned. Do not be scammed on our channel. Never respond. If you ever see my picture icon in the description box, excuse me, if you ever see my picture icon, in the reply section of our videos, never respond. Somebody is there using a the cash app. Please delete those replies or disregard them. God bless you. I love all of you. And if it's the will of the Lord, we are going to talk later. Stay hooked up to God and confront and deal with the issues of the heart. The matters of your heart, you deal with this family of God. I love you. God bless you.